Hello, hello, hello. Um, well, I haven't done a screencast for I don't know, three years or something like that. Um, last one I did, I've got uh, quite a few views, over 100,000 views over the years, uh, about some kind of error that happened in VirtualBox. Um, actually, I think that's even older than three years. Uh, anyway, it's been a long time, uh, and I've decided that probably it was time to uh, do another screencast. And since the one that I've done before that was so popular was about installation on VirtualBox, I thought I would do uh, another one. This one I started doing a little while ago. I tried this for myself. Um, for uh, I needed to get uh, Windows uh, running, and I have a Mac, and I need to get Windows running so that I can run uh, the Windows versions of Microsoft Office because I needed to get to PowerPoint and Excel and, and Word, which are all available on the Mac too. But I also needed to run Microsoft Access, um, and you can only do that under Windows. So anyway, um, I wanted to uh, go about getting an installation, seeing how that would work. Uh, so I thought, okay, I will get this set up in VirtualBox and went to check out about getting uh, an image to uh, use to install Windows. Found out a very interesting thing is that you can actually get a uh, proper Windows installation disk image. And here it is right here. Uh, for free from Microsoft. So this is not something that uh, I found on the interwebs through Pirate Bay or anything like that. It's not a, a torrent that got downloaded. Uh, it's an actual genuine Microsoft uh, Windows 10 installation image. And I'll put a link in the show notes underneath for where you can find that for yourself. So I'm going to uh, set up an installation of Windows. I've already got one here that I set up before, but I'll run through the setup one more time. Um, and let's just get started. I'm going to create uh, a new virtual machine here. I'm going to call this uh, new Win 10 uh, because the disk that I have, the installation is for Windows 10. Um, carrying on, I've got 8 gig memory total on this. I think I'm going to go with uh, half of that devoted to Windows. You do need to uh, put a fair bit of memory into it. I haven't tried it with 2 gig because I just figured that'd be way too slow or way too uh, uh, small a RAM to actually make this work reasonably well. So I'll go with the 4096. I think that's what I did before. Create a virtual hard disk now. Sure, let's go for that. Uh, virtual disk image. Okay, that's good. Dynamically allocated. That means it's not going to start off with the full however many gigabytes I allocate to it, but it'll start small and then uh, increase in size as it needs it. Um, the file is going to be called new win 10. I'm going to put this onto my second drive. I have two drives on this computer and one of them is put in the virtual box. Uh, one of them is uh, an SD uh, or an SSD and it's got uh, 256 gigabytes on it. When you start installing virtual machines on an SSD, if it's not a really large one, it does fill up the drive fairly quickly. So I will put this onto the second drive. Uh, call it New Win 10. It's in VirtualBox. Okay, let's go with that. And uh, well, it's on a two terabyte drive, so I figure I can give it 50 gigabytes for the, the Windows drive, no problem. And create here we go. Now when I'm going to start this off, first thing I'm going to do is run this for installation. In order to do that, I have to have this disk image somehow available to the virtual computer so that it can run it. Uh, over here in uh, all the little windows and options, there's one that says storage, and that's the one we're going to need to play around with. And we have a SATA controller here. Uh, new Win 10 VDI, that's the hard drive. Here is the virtual optical drive. So I'm going to click on that to select it. It's connected to SATA port 1. And I'm just going to click here and choose a virtual optical disk. I've got this Win 10 uh, already chosen as the option here, but I'll show you how I get that. Choose virtual optical disk drive. And I just need to maneuver to desktop. There we go. Click open. And now I can see that the drive that I have here, or the disk I have in the optical drive is Win 10, 1607 English X64.ISO. That is my installation disk. So let's 
see what happens when we run this. We'll now get this started, make sure I've selected the new one, and start. And we're going to go through the installation process. This does look, once the VirtualBox boot screen comes up, this does look exactly like running the Windows 10 installation in a PC. That's basically what we're doing. It's just that the PC that we're running it in is the VirtualBox program that's running on my iMac. And like running any installation, it takes forever to go through all the warming up stuff. But you can see that the Windows uh, 10 uh, icon was there. Uh, looks like something is happening here. Oh, okay. Windows setup. Uh, I'm going to go English, English, keyboard, remember to uh, enter your language, other preference, characteristic. Continue. No, I think we're all good there. Next we go. And oh, we've got just one big button to press here. I don't need to repair. Uh, so we're going to click on install now. Just in case you hadn't noticed it, setup is starting. It says so right there. Okay, if you have downloaded this uh, from the link that I put in the show notes, uh, when you go to set it up, it's going to want you to activate Windows. You can go, I don't have a product key. I found out, um, I forget exactly where, but there was a website that said that you don't need to have the product key and you don't need to activate Windows for Windows 10 to work properly when it's installed from this free uh, disk image that you can get from Microsoft. It will every once in a while put up a little bit of a nag uh, message reminding you that you should activate Windows. From my experience, you can ignore that, continue using it, you will have no problems, no restrictions, nothing I've seen that indicates there's any problems with just running it without the product key and without activating it. So, I don't have a product key. Um, I'll go with Windows 10 Home. I don't know if there's really much reason for doing Windows 10 Pro, unless you're running a whole fleet of machines. I think Windows 10 Pro makes it easier to manage uh, you know, a large group of machines uh, so you can remotely manage them. I'm not sure what else Windows 10 Pro will do for us, but I'll go with Windows 10 Home. Select next. Let's read through this carefully. Okay, everybody got that. I accept. Next. Um, upgrade. Well, I'm not doing an upgrade. I'm doing a Windows installation. So I'm going to click on there. Select drive zero. That's my 50 gigabyte drive. Now this is inside of the VirtualBox window. So this is not the hard drive of my host computer. This is not my iMac's hard drive. This is the little file that I've set aside that's going to pretend to be the hard drive for my virtual Windows machine that I'm setting up. So I will click Next and it's going to take a long time to do these things. So I'm going to go and hit the pause button on the recording and through the magic of editing we'll time shift to when this is done and carry on from there. Ready? We're going to jump ahead in time in three, two, one. Okay, we've jumped ahead in time. It's copied Windows files, it has files ready for installation, it has installed features, it's installed updates, and now it's going to restart. Needs to restart to continue. Now let's see what happens next. Okay, back to the VirtualBox boot screen. Uh, it says press any key to boot from CD or DVD. We actually don't want to do that. Hopefully it booted to uh, the hard drive. I'll show you what I mean here. It is the boot order is set for floppy optical hard disk, which means that it will boot from the optical drive before the hard disk. And it does have the Windows installation disk in the optical drive, but I'm hoping it bypassed that and went to booting from the hard drive when it did the restart. We'll take a look here and find out. And when uh, I restart this again, I will make sure that I eject the Windows install disk from the optical drive here. And it's spinning around and doing stuff. Yeah, okay. More pausing, more jumping ahead in time. Ready? Three, two, oh, devices are getting ready. That's exciting. Hmm. 
Otherwise, I'm just sitting here watching dots chase each other around on the screen. I think I'm going to jump ahead in time. You'll probably appreciate that as well. Here we go. Ready to jump into the future? Three, two, and go. Oh, here we are in the future, and it's now getting ready. And the dots are chasing each other around. Okay, another jump to the future. Ah, ready in three. Three, two, one, go. Oh, here it is rebooting yet again. And let's see if it goes into the installer or into the actual windows that we have just installed onto the computer. Hmm. Almost hypnotic. Okay, this is a little bit faster. Now, if you've ever started up Windows for the first time on a, a new account or uh, first time on a, a PC, you know they can take forever for Windows to get everything set up. Um, same thing seems to happen in Windows 10, but the nice thing in Windows 10 is they have nice little friendly messages to make you feel like you are, are loved while you're sitting there waiting for the computer to boot up. So hopefully we'll see some of those nice little affirmational messages as we're waiting here right now. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, get going fast. Ah, express settings. Let's just hit this and see what happens. Just a moment. I wonder if we'll even see some of those nice affirmational messages right away. Time for a time jump? I think so. Ready? Time jump. Three, two, one. Time jump. Okay, well, that was the time jump. If I synchronized my speaking properly, it even seems like I like I did it. Um, so we can enter with a Microsoft account. I'm not going to bother here. Let's just skip this step. And more messages. Okay, who's going to run this PC? Well, that'll be me. Um, a password. I'm going to make my password password. And for anybody who's watched this and thinking, ha, ah, I'm going to break into Rob's accounts. No, I, I never use password as a password. Uh, my hint is never forget your dot, dot, dot. And so now it will continue setting up. And there's going to be all sorts of goobly goo as it does this. I'll uh, pause and unpause so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. But let's just cut to the chase of actually seeing uh, a working Windows on the virtual box. Okay, here's one thing I get to decide is Cortana. Uh, I'm, I have never used Cortana. I've heard it's actually pretty good. But I'm going to say not now because I haven't figured out how to make the microphone that's hooked up to my iMac connect into the virtual box and be usable to the virtual box. So that's something to explore in the future. Oh, hi, Windows 10. How are you? We're happy you're here. This is good. This is the affirmational message that I was talking about. It's not just that it's initializing your account. It's actually happy you're here. Things are getting ready. And the colors fade as if it's a, a hopeful sunrise. Oh, and then the sun's going down again. Things are getting dark. But at least there are these nice messages to read while we're waiting. Uh, anyway, uh, for the microphone, I'm not sure how to get that set up so that I can use the microphone that's hooked into the USB port of my iMac and have that available as an input for the virtual computer. But that's something to explore in the future. If you have any ideas about how that might work, please leave some comments down below. Um, and uh, if I find out. I will make a, another screencast in the future to show everyone how that's done. Still waiting. Okay, jump to the future. Oh, here's a new message. Windows stays up to date to protect you in an online world. Good to know. All right, another jump. Oh, it says let's start. There was a nice friendly tone. Oh, here we go. Look at this. We are here in Windows World. Uh, now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a little File Explorer here. And if there is, yeah, CD Drive. 
I'm going to right click and I'm going to see if I can eject that because I don't want it booting off of the CD drive and I'm going to make sure that this works correctly so I will go to the Windows menu power down shut down once that's shut down I'm going to go and make sure that I eject the disk from the virtual drive in the virtual box there we go ah it is empty the eject worked so let's start this off again it should be a little faster this time should be a little faster don't know that it is but it should be oh I think something might be happening here or not oh here we go okay there's uh, ah, success there's a login screen so I'll just click on that and there's my name and password goes in And hopefully before too long, I will have it working once again. And there are some things to do to finish getting set up. Um, but this is getting on towards 17 minutes of screencast so far, which if you've stayed with me so far, I, I thank you. I salute you um, because that shows tremendous patience when mostly we've been watching a boot up screen happen um, and different messages go across the screen. So thanks for sticking around for that. Hopefully this is something that you can try and figure out how to do on your own. Uh, once again, check the show notes down below to find a link so that you can find the disk image for installing Windows 10 free and genuine and legal from Microsoft. It's my timer for something. Um, thanks for uh, watching this. Uh, leave some comments, questions down below in the comments section. Uh, if uh, there's enough of a response and you want to see anything else about setting up windows in a virtual box uh, environment i will make some more screencasts showing you how to do that in the future thank you for watching subscribe and leave comments down below